Hello, Aide. Hi, Mariano. Hi, Aide. Hey, what happened to Mariano? Hello, hello. Hey, Mariano. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. All right. Here, That's drink nice. coffee. Did you have problems connecting, Mariano? No, I forgot to connect my microphone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's Friday. That happens. Yeah. All right. How was your day today? Easy day. Yeah? With some problems at work. Oh, really? And where do you work, Mariano? I'm working by myself in electrical projects. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm working in a hospital in Sayapango. Okay. All right. Actually, we have a in progress a project in, in an electric electric issue in the hospital. Okay. Oh. And we are repairing the fail. Okay. Hmm. A lot of nothing, work then. Nothing works. <laughs> Oh no, Mariano, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> no, it's not good. All right. So you have your team, like you have a team of employees? Yeah, no, me and my brother only. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, sometimes. Right. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard to work with the family. That, that's true, yeah, I guess so, you're right. Yeah, how long have you been working with him for? Yeah. How long have you been working with him? Um, two years. Okay. I quit of my last my last job. Okay. I I had a job in that telecommunication. Ah. But I quit. Okay. Was it a good decision? Yeah, really. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Very good. Yeah. Sometimes we need to take the risks, right? Uh, it's right. a jump of faith. <laughs> right, yes, that's right. But I'm happy it's working out. Yeah. Very a lot nice. of three days, day off. <laughs> Sometimes we have to do enough time to share with the friends, with the family. Right, right. But and our days are really busy and hard by this one. Right, yeah, I see. All right. It has its pros and cons, right? Okay. What? It has its pros and cons. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all right. Very good, that's nice. All right, very good. Hi, Javier. Hello, teacher. What happened yesterday, Javier? I can't. You couldn't? I couldn't because uh, my internet mm. uh, was bad right i know i know it's because of the rain i think javier because it's been crazy okay all right but i'm happy to see you today because today is the last class <laughs> okay <laughs> very good all right so navy hi navy welcome mireya andrea all right alex claudia good evening, good evening gabby hello hi teacher all right, guys, so today, as I was just mentioning to Javier, today is our very last class and we're finished, okay? But of course, you guys will continue, which that's very, very good. And the next course is going to be pre-advanced, all right? Are you continuing? Is everybody continuing for the next course? Of course. All right, nice. Hey. Yay, bravo, yes. very nice, good. Yes. All right, I'm happy you will continue, okay? Andrea, you will continue? 
Yes, teacher. Excellent, Andrea. And maybe you too, Aide and Gabi, yes, you will continue? Yes, teacher. Yes, I Very hope. Good. Yes. You hope so, right? Claudita and Mireya, you too? Yes. yes. That's nice. Very I good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you have to finish the platform, okay? And then you will start the new the new course. Very good. That's very nice for you. All right, guys. So today, as I was mentioning, is the very last uh, day of classes. Yesterday, remind me, ya se me olvido. Remind me what we talked about yesterday. Cuéntale a Javier what we saw yesterday. Or we didn't see anything. <laughs> what did we study yesterday? Girls, guys, do you remember what we studied? Study past models. Excellent. We study past models, Javier. Okay. Ah, okay. And, okay. Uh, which past models did we study, Andrea? Should, could, and would. Should, could, and would. All right. Because they are past models. All right. So we were using them with have, should have, could have, would have. Okay. Now, do you remember that we were talking that these um, past models, we use them for which situations? Do you remember for which situations we use them? Opinion so, or suggestion. Or for a, yes, for opinion and suggestions, but it's already late, right? Because the action already happened. So you're just giving an opinion, you're giving a suggestion, but there's nothing you can do about it because it's over with. Okay. All right. So here we have. Oh, sorry, guys. My eyes is itchy. Um, just give me a quick second. I need to get the uh, presentation we were working with yesterday. What date was yesterday? Yesterday was the seventh, the fifth, right? How come I don't have it? Hmm. That's a strange. Sorry, guys, I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> just ignore me right now, okay? I'm just trying to look for the. Um... Yes, sir. Yes. Will you continue with us? Um, for the next course. Yeah. I don't know, Alex. Well. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure um, because sometimes they we rotate, and so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's probably we we advance. Yeah, I mean you will see me later. That's for sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if you, you continue with the TOEFL preparation, I will teach you that course. Of course. All right. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Very good. Guys, I cannot find my presentation. Why not? Oh, no. Wait. I need to show it to you guys. Just, oh, man. Hold on. Oh, there you go. I found it. Yay, I found it. Okay. Very good. I just needed some patience here. Okay, very good. So yesterday, this is what we were talking about. I'm just gonna show it to you again um, quickly, not like we did yesterday, all right? But just for you to remember, here we have should have, could have, and would have, all right? These are the models of lost opportunity or past models, all right? We were saying yesterday that these um, situations or any situation just happened, all right? It's finished. And we cannot do anything about it. That's why they are called models of lost opportunity because we don't have an opportunity anymore. Okay. So here we have should, could, and would plus have. Okay. Now I show you this yesterday to remind you when to use should, when to use could, and when to use would. So we said that we use should for recommendation and advice. We use could for possibilities and we use would for imagining results. The same thing is gonna happen if we use uh, should have, could have, and would have. El uso no cambia, cambia la forma, porque pasa de ser un verbo modal normal a un verbo modal pasado, all right? Ayer igual someone was asking me, I think it was Jennifer that was asking me, for example, I say, uh, Navy should have studied or I say Navy should has studied. How do I say that, guys? Do you know? 
which one is the right um, sentence? Navy okay. should have or Navy should has? Should have. Right, okay, so remember that when we talk about modal verbs, any modal verb, in past or present or whatever, nothing happens to the verb, all right? So modal verbs don't let any changes happen. So everything is gonna be, I should have, Javier should have, we should have, they should have, she should have, it should have. You don't say has. There's no change whatsoever, all right? So that's something that you need to remember. I have always seen the modal verbs as a family different from the rest of the verb family because they have their own rules, okay? And one of their own rules is that they do not change the following verb, okay? The following verb is always going to be used in um, the regular, like the base form, okay? Very good. Sahida, welcome to class. Very good to have you in class here. And I don't know who's coming in. All right. So good evening, Sahida. Very good. So that's something that we need to remember. Okay. And here uh, we were talking about some uses of should have. All right. So here we said that um, can mean something that would have been a good idea. You know, oh my goodness, I should have married you. <laughs> All right, maybe it was a good idea, but I married someone else, all right? So this is not possible anymore. Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, unless you get divorced, and then that could be a possibility. But other than that, it's something that it was a good idea, but nothing happened, all right? If you use shouldn't have, it means that something wasn't a good idea. It's the opposite because it's negative, all right? So shouldn't have, but you did it anyway, all right? Oh, I shouldn't have, I don't know, um, gone to the party, but I went, you know? So now it's too late. I cannot cry over the milk, uh, spill milk, you know? So it's just like that. Then here, we were also talking about would have plus past participle. And we were talking about the second uh, rule because this one is part of the third conditional. But here we're saying that because would and will can also be used to show if you want to do something or not, we can also use would have plus past participle to talk about something you wanted to do but didn't, all right? For example, you said, I would have traveled to Canada, but I didn't, you know? I, I mean, I just didn't do it, all right? So those are like the ways we use these things, okay? Here. Uh, then we also have could have, remember that one, and I think we had these exercises. Were we able to finish all the exercises yesterday? Remind me. Yeah. We finished all of them? Yes. Yes. Did we check them? Yes, right? We did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. So this is what we studied yesterday, Javier, in a nutshell, all right? This is like quickly, this is what we studied yesterday. That is the very, very last topic, Javier, of the um, platform, okay? So that's like, I will leave you with that. And right now, guys, I wanna do two things, okay? Hi, Jennifer. We are going to, I'm gonna take you to the platform because I want to do the reading with you that is there. I'm not gonna answer the questions with you. I wanna check your pronunciation and your reading on that article that we have there. And after that, we are going to, I'm going to share with you some questions so you guys can practice your speaking, all right? Remember that uh, past willingness is something that you wish it would have happened, Alex. All right, that's okay, all right? So you wish there's something that you wish you could have done something. To be willing is that you were, like, you wanted to do it, all right? Estar dispuesto a, all right? So willingness is like, is that, you know, like something that you are like, you know, that you wanted to, but you didn't in a way. All right. Okay. So I'm going to take you, you're welcome. I'm going to take you here to the platform. Just give me doo -doo -doo. one second again here. Yeah, it's here. Okay. So right now we're going to do the reading because I just want to check your reading comprehension. Okay. And I just want to practice your reading with me. 
Javier. Solo porque no estuvo ayer, Javier. You're going to be the first one to read. <laughs> um, Javier, read the first uh, paragraph. It says, ask Amy, scan the three letters to Amy. What problems do the writers ask for help with? Okay? So read this okay. one, please. Mm -hmm. Dear Amy, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did, he decided to confront her with, with the story. They had a terrible argument, and although she denied, she denied, she denied the rumor. They broke up. Mm -hmm. Now it turned out that the rumor wasn't true. Oh no! <laughs> and my brother isn't speaking to me. Oh my goodness! All right, Javier. Thank you. All right. So, oops. Okay, let's continue here. Uh, distrust sister, all right? Andrea, can you read this one right here? I'm just going to make it bigger a little bit here so it's easier for us to read, but I cannot move it somehow. I cannot make it. Um, can you see, Andre? Uh, hold on, this is playing. Uh -huh. Can you see it there? About the how of the story. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, can you see? Very good. Yeah. Uh, dear, you're making it too easy for him to stay where he Be firm and tell him he was two months to find a job and get his own place. He's old enough to take care of himself, but you have to be willing to let him go. All right. Okay. So that's one of uh, one advice that is not related to what we just read, but that's okay. Let's see. Um, Aide, do you mind reading, dear Amy, my son? Okay. Dear Amy, my son is twenty-three years old. He finished college last year, but she can seem to find a job they like. He still lives at home and i worry that she's not trying that he's hard. not trying mm -hmm. he's not trying hard enough to get a job and support himself meanwhile if been i've been his, i've been i've been i've been cooking his meal and doing his laundry oh my goodness all right okay very good thank you Let's see, Mireya, can you read Dear, I would suggest? Dear, I would suggest you keep quiet. Let them work things out for themselves. If you say something, you could damage your friendship with both of them. Thank you. All right, very good. All right, Sahira, do you mind reading this one? Dear Amy, this one right here. I went to the movies. Okay. Dear Amy, I went to, to the movies with my best friend and her younger brother. She wasn't feeling well, so after war, he drove me home. While we were driving, he told me he had skipped the school that day, taken his mother car and gone to the beach. My dilemma is, should I tell my friends? about this ah all right confused friend very good thank you jenny can you read dear you should have thought you should have thought more carefully before you act it wasn't necessary to get angry next time to speak to the child immediately and warn him not to do to do it again very good all right nice all right let me see Alex, can you read uh, Dear? For this one. Okay, say, Dear, well, you learned a lesson. You shouldn't have listened to gossip, and you shouldn't have passed it on. Now you have to repair the damage. 
apologizing sincerely and hope he will forgive you and forget. And... <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so we're not going to do this whole thing. What I wanted to do was to check your reading. All right. Is there any word that you guys don't know the meaning or that you want me to pronounce for you or you are okay with the reading? You guys understand every word, that's fine, yeah? No problem with the reading? Only with pronunciation of apologize. Apologize? Sincerely or apologize sincerely. Sincerely. Uh-huh. Sincerely. Yes. Okay. And what's the meaning of after war? Like, um, kind of like. Confused friend. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, so afterward, he dropped like after. Just like, it's this, it's a similar meaning with just after. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Isha. Yeah. Very good. Anybody else? Do you guys understand gossip? Yes, uh, right? While in future. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's uh, your, your making is too easy for him. Uh, you're making it way too easy for him to stay where he is. Be firm and tell him the two months to find a job. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's the word? But you to have be to be willing. Ah, willing. Oh. Yeah, you have to be willing to let him go. All right. Tiene que estar dispuesta a dejarlo ir. You have to be willing to let him go. Very good. Any other? No, we're fine with all the words, right? It's not very difficult. I just wanted to check on pronunciation and stuff, but you guys are doing great. Very good. All right, so this is what we're going to, I'm going to stop sharing this right now. I just wanted to check the reading. All right, hold on. I was just, yeah, okay. Okay, so this is what I have for you right now. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to take you, I'm going to show you this. It says speaking questions, okay? This is the last class we have, and we have finished all the exercises, or not the exercises, but the grammar points on your platform. So what I want us to do for like about 20 minutes is to practice speaking with your classmates, okay? And I have some questions for you. These questions are going to be like past related, because sometimes we struggle with the past tenses, especially the pronunciation, okay? So we need to check on that. Then, like about quarter to nine, I will come back with you guys to the main group or the main session. And then we're going to see if you have any questions about the um, final exam or the midterm exam or any knowledge check from the platform, just to see if you guys are doing okay. Okay? So this is what I have. A speaking questions. I'm just going to put it here as a PowerPoint presentation. All right? And then we have here. These questions, they're all about the past because they're talking about childhood. Do you guys understand what childhood is? Infancy. Yeah, when you were little, right? Okay, very good. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of these questions. All right. And then you, go, you, you will go ahead. For example, if I'm working with Andrea. I will ask Andrea and she will answer and then Andrea can ask me at the same time, all right? So I'll say, Andrea, well, what was the best thing about your childhood? Sorry, there's a, there's a lot of noise right now. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> anyway, so Andrea will tell me about her childhood and then she will say, Jessica, what was the best thing about your childhood? All right, and then we, we're going to be asking and answering, so we practice our past tenses, and of course, we practice our English. So please take a picture of this right now. Did you take a picture already? Yes. Okay. All right, let me know when you finish taking the picture. Finished to share. Okay, very good. So, we understand the task right now. We understand what we're going to do. Yes? All right, yes. very good. Okay, so let's go to your groups and then practice as spe like speaking as much as you can, okay? There's going to be a group or two with three members. That's okay. You just 
keep on practicing and asking the same questions anyway.
Hi, Miraya. No, teacher. Not a problem. Okay, don't worry about it, Miraya. Okay. In which group were you before, Miraya? Do you remember? No, no, sorry, no, 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 no. Number five with Vanessa Tom. Okay. Ah, pero creo que Vane. ¿Con quién? Vanessa, yes. right? Yes. Pero también se salió. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think she had a problem with the internet also. Okay. All right, look, I'm going to send you to another group, okay, Mireya? Okay, because she's you. not, yeah. She's not here right now either. Okay. No le salió la invitación, mire ella. Mire ella. Hi, Javier. Yeah. What happened, Javier? <laughs> um, and my co-partner left. Yeah, es que la inter está así como terrible. 
Yeah. Um, Vanessa had a problem, and I think Mireya had a problem. So everybody's like leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Javier, I will move you to, um, hold on. I'm going to move you to another group so you can share with the other classmates, okay? Okay. Let me know if you have the invitation.
okay. with anyone. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think that I hate all of them. <laughs> and what about you, Claudia? In my case, um, uh, my grandfather's grandparents and my two best friends, uh, Glenda and Sonia. <laughs> cool. Okay, next one. What do you want to provide your children that you didn't have when you were growing up? For me, uh, uh, it's important uh, education. Ah, it's a good point. Education, yes. And you, Claudia? Um, I am not sure. <laughs> Mm. Ida Kian mm. Yellows, maybe um, um, when I, I when I was kid, may, when I was child, I am um, yellows, maybe some um, partners, partners. Uh, with maybe they have uh, more more money i don't know and i i want a barbie <laughs> <laughs> i want <laughs> in this in that moment uh, have a, a, a barbie <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> only that <laughs> I, think that I never have a barbie <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I think that education is a good point. Claudita, okay. you never had a Barbie? No. <laughs> <laughs> she never. All right, that's okay. You survived, Claudita, that's okay. <laughs> yes. You know, Claudia, no. I only had one Barbie. And it was not mm. my favorite one, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice, Claudia. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go on. Who were you really jealous of when you were a child? Why were you jealous? Jealous. I don't know. Too, too much time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, let me see. What is the question, Mariana? Who were you really jealous of when you were a child? Uh, Why were you jealous? I don't know, I'm thinking mm, about it. Okay. What was your experience at school, at school like? Too, too difficult question, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> too much time ago, I don't remember. Too long ago. <laughs> I, I never have... forget that, that Barbie. <laughs> no kidding. Eh? <laughs> this Navity. <laughs> there are some things, Claudita, that we never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yours next one. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I don't remember that how a, a yellows. Maybe when my 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 grandmother uh, buy a, a, a things for my my cousin. Maybe uh, I remember that that i am jealous but um no in my case i don't have yellows yellows you're not jealous all right no. that's nice that's no. nice <laughs> and the last one what was your experience at school like okay. elementary junior high or high school like did you guys have a, a good experience when you were studying 
-hmm. actually, yeah. All right. It was really, really good. Really, Mariano? Yeah. All right, that's good. <laughs> Until college, mm -hmm. everything was, sometimes it was really tough, but it was great. Okay, all right, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, Claudita and Sahira? Was it good? The study was okay? Like, did you enjoy going to school and everything? Yes, I I like um I always I always have a bad friend in and I remember that uh, how do you say intramuros teacher? Um you had like the sports day. Oh, sport takes have uh, uh, the winners always. Oh, oh cool, <laughs> nice. It's All a right. good experience. Yeah, of yes. course, yes. What about Claudita? Did you have a good experience when you were studying? Mm, yes, maybe when sometimes, only two times, two, two times, mm -hmm. two times. Maybe escapar. Oh, Claudita. <laughs> A theater, a theater. Oh my god. I like goodness. that theater. Yes. Oh, Claudita, you're terrible. <laughs> We're okay. my best friends. I like that. All right, that's fun. But <laughs> I think it's part of the, that time, right? Yes. Um, that's nice. All right. Very good. Okay, so you guys finished the questions, right? Yes. yes. Excellent. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna check Good if question. you guys have any questions. Huh? Good question. Did yeah, you? yeah, I like those <laughs> questions. They make you think <laughs> and miss the Barbies. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Okay, you're. Hello, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello. So did you remember about your childhood? <laughs> Not too much. Oh, my goodness. Really? Not really. Oh, no, Jennifer. <laughs> All right. That's OK. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy the activity about talking about your past times. All right. Right now, I want to take you to the platform. We have like about 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you this one right here. And I, I want to go over the final exam in case you haven't done it. Any case you did, here is what it is. All right. Did you guys, um, were you able to finish the listening part of your final exam? Yes, I yeah? did. All right. Very good. Did you have any questions or any troubles with it? No. No? No. All right. Uh, who's not finished the final exam yet? Who's not finished? Is everybody finished the final exam? Okay. I already finished. Okay. All right. What about Gabi and Idea and Sahira? Did you finish the final exam? Yes, yes, right. yes, 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 everything. Yes, cool, excellent. All right, so no questions about it then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Javier, did you finish? Yes, oh, okay. All right, forget it then. We're done. <laughs> I mean, we're done with the <laughs> practice. I thought you guys were not finished, but excellent. Good group. You guys are like behaving very nicely. All right, very good. So, here, guys, we have 10 more minutes. All right, so we're not gonna do the final exam because everybody's finished, okay? So we have 10 minutes, all right? And this is what I want us to do right now. Just let's, let, let's ask questions. I mean, we can ask questions, you can ask me, I can ask you, all right? So think about anything that you guys either wanna ask me or wanna ask your classmates. So we have 10 minutes to get to know each other a little bit better before we finish. Teacher, yeah. and I have some, and I have problem with the platform in the lesson 5.4. 5.4? Yes. 
Oops, hold on. I pressed something different here. Okay. 5.4. Let me just go get it here. And what was that? What was your problem with it? I did. It's not getting you the right answer? Yes, it the exercise B, letter B. Okay. Five, hold on here. Five point four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exercise four, this one? This one, I did. Can you see it? Two, 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 two. Two is two. Is two. If you're a doctor. All right, so what, what, um, which answer did you have? Which answer did you type in? Isn't it if you if your dog I they can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, what did you type in? What was your answer here? Um if your doctor will told told you to get if your doctor told you told you oh. simple simple past of tell only yeah. if your doctor told you to get more exercise which is sport uh-huh guys can you help us here what is what would be the right answer would you choose that's right would you choose would you choose mm-hmm Can you try it there? Did you get it right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Second condition. Uh-huh, that's right, yeah. Or the unreal, right? The unreal condition that we were talking unreal. about. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, very good. That was the only problem I did. Um, Number three. What would you do if your car broke down? Number three, teacher. Uh huh. This one right here. What would you yes. do? What would you do if your car broke down? What would you do? Yeah. If your car broke down. Okay. All right. Any other? Any other questions I did or anybody else or you're okay with it? No? And the number four? Would you break uh, into your house if you lock yourself out? House teacher, house. Yeah, yeah, it should be house. Uh -huh, it shouldn't be pluralized. It's a mistake. Yeah, yeah, we need to fix that. Thank you. All 
All right, finish, Aide, is that okay? Is it okay now, Aide? Okay, teacher. Excellent, all right, very good. Okay, guys, so we have four more minutes. Um, I really hope you enjoy the classes that I share with you for the last two weeks, all right? Um, I know I wasn't with you from the beginning, but I was with you the second half of your course. So I really hope you enjoy your classes, okay? And I hope they were useful for you, okay? Yes. yes. All right, very good. So I'm very happy. Nice. Thank you. I'm very happy that you will continue, all right? If I don't see you on the next course, I will see you soon, I promise, okay? I will encounter you again in the advanced levels. We will, we will vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Javier. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah. All right. I'm always around. Don't worry. I'll be around. Okay. So it's very nice. Okay, guys. I don't know okay. if you have any other questions or anything else that you want to talk about or you have any questions about. When beginning the next month? I'm not sure. Maybe I think it's not next month. Um, I don't know. Next week? Uh, I think it's the yeah. following week. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not sure. They haven't told us yet. Okay. But soon. I mean, it's. I mean, it has to be soon because it's almost Christmas time. So we need to finish before Christmas. <laughs> so you guys do the Christmas shopping and everything. All right. So I think it's. If it's not next week, maybe it will be the following week, but no later than that. So maybe you maybe you will have one week off and then you will start. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. So you can rest can a little prepare. bit. Yeah, right. Yes, for sure. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you okay, so much guys. For everything. You're very welcome. Thank you for accepting me in like half of your course. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult because you were used to the other teacher, and then I came in. But thank you. You guys were very a very very nice group. All right, so keep it up, okay? Um, if you have any questions later, you can you you can like always contact me, okay? okay? Thank you so much. Please be safe. If you haven't finished the platform, please finish it. And if you have any other questions, let me know, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Please keep okay. safe. Bye, guys. Have a great night. Bye. Yes, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. was a pleasure teacher thank you it was a pleasure for me too gabby thank you bye bye have a great night and a great weekend thank you you too thank you you are an excellent teacher thank you sahira thank you for saying mm -hmm. that that's very nice very sweet mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll hope to see you soon, all right? Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye.